All right, here it is. Really simple, easy to do. It originally was made for like a casserole dish. You throw it, put it all in a casserole dish and bake it off at 350 for like 45 minutes. But uh, if you got that much time, or you can use a rice cooker. It's just as easy. Easier, actually. A cup of rice. Regular old converted, whatever the hell that means. Uncle Ben's. One cup of rice, a cup of beef consomme. French onion, tablespoon of butter or margarine, and fire it up. And just if you do it in a cooker, you got to stir it every, you know, stir it every like five minutes or something, because the uh, the onions will try to settle on the bottom. So you just got to stir them. Maybe a little black pepper. You don't need any salt. It's pretty salty already. A quick, it's like a quick, easy brown rice kind of deal. Hit your thing on cook and just stir it. After it starts heating up, I'll show you here in a little bit. Starting to thicken up right here, see? This is where the onions start to settle. You just gotta stir it every now and again. Keep them onions all mixed around in it. Alright. Magical brown rice here. Yeah. It's almost done. Almost done. Keep, give it a little stir here. Drying out there, see? Alright, it's done. Let's plate it up. It actually works a little better in the oven if you do it in the oven, but this is a lot quicker. It's a little better flavor in the oven just because it cooks longer, I guess. But that's it, man. You guys got to try it. It's easy, good stuff. So you can get it close up here. All right, yeah, try it out. Simple, easy uh, French onion rice. Earthquake, all right. All right, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I want to do a couple shout outs today before we do the, the cooking here. I want to give a shout out to Halsey's Kitchen. Good guy over here, he's got some great Tons of recipes, like 300 and something videos, I think. Bow Hunter 2439. He's a cool Italian dude. He's got all kinds of Italian dishes on there. He's cook up. And I appreciate you having my, my link on your page, man. That's awesome. I got a lot of subscribers from you. I appreciate it. Just want to tell you that. But that's real cool of you. We got Deep Fried King. He's an old hunting dude. Well, not old, but he's a crazy ass redneck. He's got a video skinning a rabbit on there. It's pretty funny. But he's got a recipe to make this uh, green sauce here. It's like a salsa verde. It's tomatillas and uh, serrano peppers and a little bit of stuff, salt. It's really good. I mean, it go goes good on everything. You guys got, he's got a link to make, he's got a video showing how to make it. You gotta check it out. It's, I mean, I, I don't, it goes good on everything. Rice, I mean, you name it. Mexican food, whatever. It's good stuff. Check it out. Mr. Codger's neighbor, we'll give a shout out to him. He's got a funny channel over there. He's a funny guy. Paper cut 777 good to see you back, brother. Hopefully you get some more videos coming out. It's good stuff, as usual, like it always was. Amblehead73, I want to give you a shout out. He's a cool dude. He does some cooking and he's into the guns. He's got, you know, he's got a gun in every video when he's cooking. He's a cool guy. Check him out. 
And then you got the Vittle vlog. He just, he does like, uh, you name it. I mean, all kinds of real easy to do, to uh, cooking recipes and just good stuff. Real good guy. Check his channel out. But I just want to give you guys a good shout out, man. It's a good bunch of people out there. And I'm sure I'm forgetting a few of you, if not a bunch of you. But uh, keep up the good videos, man. It's good stuff.